look at the network of probability in this packet, it started on one the magic strategies. We had already seen in our previous lecture the matter of the cyber tendency and the included three topics are mean, median, and more. Okay, so our next topic is the standard deviation. So here the example is find the standard deviation if we are given it only the value of x. Okay, so value of x is equal to given 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, and 15. Okay, so first we write here the formula of the standard deviation. So the formula of the standard deviation is under root summation x square upon n minus summation x upon n whole square. Okay, this is the formula of the standard deviation. So here, don't be confused here. If you have any confusion, so first you hide the summation. Okay, you hide the summation and see here. Here is we have the x square. Okay, that means what? That means here we map the column of the x square. Got it? Next one is the here we are given in the summation x upon n whole square. So don't be confused here. Sometimes the student find the summation x that means x square and after that they square all these values. Okay, so don't be confused here. First you have the summation. So you have the value of x. Okay, so here this is your x column. So first we use sum all these values. So what do you mean by the summation? Summation that means the sum of all these values according to this. That means summation x that means what? Sum of the column of the x. Okay. Summation x square that means what? First you map the column of the x square. After that you sum of all these values of the column of the x square. Got it? So here what do you mean by the summation x upon n whole square? That means first we find the sum of the column of the x. That means we get the value of the summation x. Got it? After that we divide the small n. So small n that means what? The small n that means number of terms. Okay. We already seen in the middle figure and not the topic. The small n is the number of terms. And capital N that means what? Yes, capital N is equal to sum of the frequency, summation n. Okay, so here, first we are given in the value of x. Okay, so solution is, first we write here, our solution is x, the value of x is 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, and 15. 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, and 15. So we map the column of the x square according to our formula. So always keep in mind, if you solve any question, so first you write the formula of according to your question. Okay. So according to formula, we map the tables and this process is very easy for finding our solution. So first we write the column of the x. After that we map the column of the x square. That means what? 3 square, 9. 4 square 16, 6 square 36, 7 square 49, 9 square 81, and 15 square 25. Okay, so here we map the column of the x square. After that, first we find the summation x. So summation x that means what? The sum of all these values that means 44. Got it? Summation x square. So summation x square that means what? Sum of all these values and we get the value of 4, 1, 6. Okay, this is the value of the summation x square. Okay, and the number of terms. n is equal to what? n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means n is equal to 6. Okay, so put all these three values in your formula. Okay, so standard deviation, the notation is sigma. Okay, the standard deviation that means sigma. So here sigma is equal to the right here the under root sign. Put here the summation x square. So value of the summation x square is equal to what? 416. So we write here 416 divided by the small n. The small n that means the number of terms. That means we write here the 6. What it? Next one is the summation x upon n whole square. So what is the value of the summation x? 
solution x is 44. So we write here 44 divided by the number of terms and whole square. Got it? That is all. First we put here the value of the summation x square. So summation x square is 416 and is equal to number of terms that is 6 minus summation x upon n whole square. So we put here summation x is equal to 44 divided by the number of terms that is 6 whole square. Okay. Solve this step and we get the value of sigma is equal to 3.94. Okay, so this is the uh, standard deviation according to this value of x. Okay, so this is her final answer that means the standard deviation sigma is equal to 3.9. This is your answer. Okay, but uh, this formula is depend on only we are given in the value of x. Okay, for example, we are given in the value of x and x both. Okay, so what is the formula? That means what if we are given in the column of x and we are in the column of x. Okay, so formula is what? Formula is the standard deviation is equal to and the root summation f x square divided by summation f. Okay, and minus summation fx upon summation f whole square. Okay, so this is the formula of the standard deviation. If our question given is x and f both, that means we are given in the frequency according to the variable x. Okay, then we use the, this formula. So just you see here both the formula. That means we are given in only the value of x and we are given in only value of x and f both. So what is the difference? Difference is that here summation x square, if we multiply here the f, that means the frequency, so we get the summation fx square. So one trick is that here, always keep in mind, if your question given in the frequency form, listen carefully, if in your question given in the frequency form, that means we can say that if the frequency included in your question, Okay, so always in the denominator, you write the sum of the frequency, summation F, capital N, not in the number of terms. Okay, that means if your question given in the frequency form, that means X and F both, so always in the denominator form, you write here the sum of the frequency, that means summation F, or you can say that the capital N. Okay, so formula is very simple. If you uh, always remember first this formula, after that you uh, uh, write here the frequency and the x. Okay, so summation f x square upon summation f, that means you write here the capital N, both are correct. And here summation x upon n. So uh, if a question here in the frequency also, so we write here summation f x divided by summation f whole square. Okay, so this is the formula of the standard deviation for finding the standard deviation if your question given in x and f both form. So, a next example is find the standard deviation and the coefficient of values. Okay, so here we are given in the value of x and f both. So, value of x is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And according to this x, the value of f is 2, 7, 10, 12, 15, 11, 10, 6, and 3. Okay, so here we are given the value of x and f, and we find the standard deviation and the coefficient of the value. Okay, so here first we write the formula of the standard deviation if a question given is x and f both form. That means variable and according to this variable we are given in the frequency. Okay, so first we write the formula. The standard deviation that means sigma is equal to under root summation f x square divided by capital F. See here f is alone and square is only the x. Okay, minus summation fx upon capital N whole square. This is the formula of the standard deviation. Okay, so according to this formula, first we will mark the parent. Okay, so we are given x and f both. So we have the multiplication of fx. So don't be confused here. First 
to hide the summation. So see here, uh, we map the column of the f into x. Okay, so here we write the f into x. Next one is the hide the summation. So you have the column of f into x squared. Okay, so first we map the column of the x squared. After that, we map the column of f into x squared. Okay, so let's start the solution. First we write the x and f. According to our solution, first we write the value of x and f. So multiply f into x. That means 10 to 20, 11 into 7, 77, 12 into 10, 120, 13 into 12, 156, 14 into 15, 210, 15 into 11, 165, 16 into 10, 160, 17 into 6, 102 and 18 into 3, 54. Okay, so first we mark the column of the x that is 20, 77, 120, 156, 210, 165, 160, 102 and 54. Okay, after that we mark the column of the x square. So this is your x, so 100 is square, uh, 10 is square, that means 100, 11, 121, 12, 144, 13, 169, 14, 196, 15, 225, 16, 256, 17, 289, 1789 and 18, 324. Okay, so according to this we have the square of that is 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, 225, 256, 289 and 324. Okay, after that we mark the column of the x into x square. So this is your x column and this is your x square. So 2 into 200 that is 200, 7 into 121 that is 847. 10 into 144 that means 1440, 12 into 169 that means 2028, 15 into 196 that means 2940, 11 into 225 that means 2475, 10 into 256 that means 2560, 6 into 289 that means 1734 and 3 into 324 that means 972. Okay, after that we uh, sum of all these values, that means sum of this column, so we write here summation fx square is equal to 15196. Okay, summation fx, so sum of all these values, summation fx is equal to 1064. Summation f, so sum of all these values, summation f is equal to 76. And this is the summation x, so, so summation x is equal to 126. Okay, so put all these values in this formula. So sigma is equal to root summation fx square. That means 1, 5, 1, 9, 6. Okay, and capital N that means what? Capital N that means summation f. And summation f is equal to 76. Okay, we have already seen in the previous lecture. If your question given x and n both form. So, always in the denominator, you write the sum of the frequency. That means summation x or you can set as the capital N. So, here capital N that means 76 minus summation fx. Summation fx is equal to 1064. What is Summation fx is equal to 1064 divided by summation x. That means 76 and whole square. Okay, so solve uh, all these values and we get the answer is 1.986. 1.986. So this is your standard deviation. This is the value of the standard deviation that means sigma is equal to 1.986. Okay, but in this question we find the uh, one more value. One more value that means what? The coefficient of the variance. So first we write the formula of the coefficient of the variance. So, coefficient, coefficient of the variance, okay, coefficient of the variance, the formula is sigma upon x 
bar into 100. Coefficient of variance that means C. We like get the C. Coefficient of variance. Okay. So apply sigma upon x bar into 100. Okay. So sigma we have already find the value of the sigma 1.986. But we put here uh, also the value of the x bar. X bar that means mean. So first we find the mean. That means x bar is equal to what is the formula? Formula is summation x upon n. Here, see here carefully, the small n that means the number of terms. Okay, and the capital N that means the sum of the frequency. Summation n. Okay, so summation x is equal to 126. Got it? And the small n that means number of terms. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So n is equal to 9. Okay, so here we put the uh, solve these values and here the uh, values is 40. 126 divided by 9, uh, 40, 36, so 9 for 36, that means the x bar is equal to 40. Okay, so put all these values in this formula. So Cv is equal to sigma. Sigma is equal to 1.986. Okay, x bar is equal to 40 into 100. Okay, so 1.986 divided by 40 into 200, so we get the answer is 40.18. This is your coefficient of value. Okay, so see here, always keep in mind, first you write the n is equal to number of terms is equal to 9. Okay, so always keep in mind, first you listen carefully what is your question. Okay, and according to your question, first you write the formula. Because of with the help of formula, we make very easily for uh, finding the table and after that we get the solution. So in this question, we find the two values, the standard deviation and the coefficient of the variance. So first you find the standard deviation, sigma 1.986. After that, we find the coefficient of the variance. So first you write the formula coefficient of variance is equal to sigma upon x bar into 100. So first we find the value of the x bar. After that put the value of the sigma and put the value of the x bar into 100 and we get the coefficient of the variance 14.18. Okay. So this is the example of the standard deviation and the variance. In our next lecture we will discuss about the moments. Okay, what is the moments? So in this uh, topic, we have the three types of the moments. That means moments uh, about the actual mean, moments about the assumed mean, and moments about the origin, or you can say that the zero. Okay, so I will continue this topic in the next lecture. Thank you for watching this video.